Welcome to the corporate states of America, where companies not only sell you their products, but also push a woke cultural agenda on their customers. By now, you probably know about Anheuser-Busch's debacle putting transsexual Dylan Mulvaney on Bud Light cans and Target's Pride Tuck friendly swimwear and accessories line. Those decisions have cost the two companies to lose at least $25 billion in stock value. And it makes you wonder why their CEOs still have their jobs. Anyway, now Disney, the company that lost at least $300 million by promoting homosexuality in the animated kids' movies Lightyear and Strange World, is at it again. I guess Disney hasn't learned its lessons, folks. Courtney Faber posted videos on TikTok of her family's visit to Disneyland. One of them has received 8 million views. It shows her daughter greeted by Nick, the fairy godmother's apprentice, as she enters the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Boutique. And the conversation may have gone something like this. Mommy, why does that princess have a mustache? Oh, honey, because some princesses are boys. Folks, Nick is probably a kind person. He seems friendly, but really? Do you want cross-dressing men greeting your kids in the Magic Kingdom? I'd rather have Mickey there. Well, how about them watching a new show about an 18-year-old impregnated by Satan? That's Disney's latest project. They've agreed to stream the six-part German-produced series on Disney+. Plus. The show's name is Pauline. It's produced by the same people who created the Netflix show How to Sell Drugs Online Fast. The producers say Pauline is, quote, close to their hearts. They're thrilled that Disney loves the coming-of-age story as much as we do. Don't get me wrong, I'm not encouraging a boycott of Disney. That's for you to decide as parents. But you should let Disney know how you feel. Movie Guide chairman and founder Ted Bear is calling on parents to petition Disney Plus to stop the release of Pauline on their platform. Bear wants to keep, quote, twisted and disturbing content from corrupting our children's values and beliefs. Remember the popular saying back in the 1990s, what would Jesus do? Maybe it's time the folks at Disney start asking themselves, what would Walt do? I can't imagine Walt Disney would have approved of a series like Pauline or the company's anti-family agenda. And folks, we just can't wave a magic wand like the fairy godmother and Cinderella and say bibbidi-bobbidi-boo and poof, Disney and other woke corporations will return to the way they were 20 years ago, only selling their products and services. Those days are gone. CEOs now believe they must force their ideas on the public and change the culture. Their mission today has gone far beyond only making profits. But when the family-friendly public expresses outrage and says, we've had enough, we're not buying what you're selling, it gets the attention of stockholders who lose money because of bad decisions. So folks, let's keep the faith. Let's pray corporate CEOs come to realize it's more profitable to stay out of the culture war. And let's remember to put our faith into action. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, YouTube, Rumble, social media, and SoundCloud. And until next time, be blessed.